Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Phoenix OS, which is a desktop operating system based on Android. It's, as far as I can tell, based on the Android x86 project, and it's from a group of developers based in China. It's similar in a lot of ways to Remix OS, in that you've got a taskbar here at the bottom, a start menu, notifications that come out from the side here, options for screenshots, and so on. Um, but it's a little bit different in sort of the execution. So let's take a quick look at some of the things that you can do here. Uh, out of the box, it has a web browser and you can maximize or minimize. And you can resize by dragging the corners or the top or bottom or really any part of the screen. And one thing that's kind of nice here is you can also just drag to the side. Now, sometimes the pages won't resize appropriately, but you can always just sort of hit refresh and the text should reflow properly. You can run multiple applications on the window at the same time. So let's go ahead and open the file browser. And it does have this built-in file browser, which shows you your storage space, images, videos, etc., and allows you to uh, browse all sorts of different things. Fairly easily connected to uh, shared network, uh, shared computers on my network using, uh, using the file browser as well. So I could copy files to and from the computer. Uh, comes with WPS Office installed. And so you can create and edit documents as well as a mail application and a couple of other features. Now this task menu, uh, or this uh, start menu, can be run either as a sort of full screen start menu, or you can hit this button to minimize it. And it does come with the file manager, the Stardust web browser, text editor, and a couple of other features, uh, including a camera, which looks a little funky, but does seem to detect my, uh, my built-in camera here on my laptop. So like Remix OS, this is something that you can install on a USB flash drive and then boot from that flash drive on a number of different types of computers. And like I said, because the uh, the x86 version seems to be based on the Android x86 project, you can check the Android x86 website for uh, compatibility with different sorts of computers. One thing that you won't find here in this start menu though, is the Google Play Store. It doesn't come with Google Apps or Google Play uh, services preloaded. It does have this third-party app store called 360 something. It's kind of hard for me to tell because a lot of the language here is based in Chinese. And when you first run the operating system, you have a choice of choosing Chinese or English. So the first menu you see, just go ahead and hit the drop down if you can't understand what it says, and you should see English as an option. So you can use this app store if you want to uh, download applications. And I found it's a little tricky to use if you don't uh, read the language, but you can also go to third-party locations like APK, Mirror, dot com to uh, to download and install apps. So let's see what's an easy one to install here. Well, let's just go ahead and install Facebook. So we can just download it. And then once it finishes downloading, we can click it and install it. So if you're not going to use the Google Play Store, you want to make sure that you find uh, relatively trusted sources to install applications so you don't run into problems. And so there it is. It's installing Facebook in the background. Uh, my original goal here had been to install a screen recording application and use that to make this video so that you didn't have to suffer through this camera shot, uh, but I couldn't find a screen recorder that works. So not everything works perfectly, but for the most part, it's pretty fast, it's pretty responsive, and it does make Android feel a little bit more like a desktop operating system. Uh, when you're running a bunch of applications at the same time, it can get a little sluggish, so I'm trying to open the web browser here again in the background while it's installing. That's sort of taking a moment. Everything seems to be freezing, <laughs> thus proving the point I was trying to make, but still uh, being a little bit of a frustrating experience. Uh, there are times when I've been able to run three or four applications on the screen at the same time with no problems. There are other times when just trying to launch two can cause problems. There we go. And so we've got Facebook loaded. Web browser is up and running in the background. And I'm not going to log into Facebook right now, so let's go ahead and close that. 
There's an option to pin frequently used applications to the taskbar you can see here, uh, or you can also quit from the taskbar. And for one last thing, let's go ahead and show an app that I did download from that 360 store before I got started, which is Angry Birds Friends, although I think it was labeled as Angry Birds Space. It says you need the Google Play Store installed to use it, but you don't. And usually this taskbar disappears when I'm playing the game, but right now it's not disappearing. So let's see if we can do that. There we go. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Angry Birds, but we can scroll up from the bottom there, or swipe up from the bottom, and exit. So that's a quick look at Phoenix OS, which has this sort of minimized button here that's a lot like what you would get on Windows. Uh, it's based on Android 5.1, according to the settings here. It uh, works in Chinese or English, and basically makes Android feel like a desktop operating system. Works reasonably well, and it's available as a beta for x86 computers. I believe there's also custom ROM that can run on some Android-based uh, smartphones with ARM chips. So that is Phoenix OS. Uh, don't know a lot about it, but I sort of just discovered it while doing a little bit of research on Remix OS and noticed that a couple of people were pointing to it. it seems to be a relatively new thing, and uh, you can find out everything I know about it by going to lilliputing.com for more details.